Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna play with luxury products that are also really strange and kind of made me do a little, here's the real scoop, you guys. I plan out these videos and whenever I see something that's really strange, I will buy it on purpose or when I get PR and I see something that to me is kind of strange, I will set it aside in a bin that's just kind of like weird products. And I noticed that I had a bunch of higher end, more luxury products to play with. But whenever it's time to like sit down and do this type of a video, I'm always like, it's gonna be a bad makeup day. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, probably not. I'm so picky. So it's kind of just like, it's fun to explore this kind of makeup, but also it's not fun to have a bad makeup day. No one cares. Let's just start our adventure because I already like jacked up my hair with white dry shampoo. I love the Joyco bottle that comes in the green teal bottle. I've talked about that one before. I like the heat protector, this dry shampoo. Oh Lord. Why am I just noticing that this is a problem? Well, it came out clear there. I'm so confused. This just made my hair like really like white. I'm kind of bewildered now. Okay, we're gonna spray it on the hair some more and find out what happens. What? Now it's not doing it. I had this like white kind of gray kind of cast up here from, you know, sometimes when you use a dry shampoo that is not suited for brunettes, that will happen. And this one never did that before except for earlier and now it's not doing it. Oh, I'm like in the twilight zone. So why don't I take my stress check hair elixir <laughs> to calm myself down? This is an actual product that is sold as a daily calming and conditioning hair mist. It's gonna tackle stress head on and the company name is This Works. That's so bold. What if it doesn't? It actually probably doesn't because I've used this before and I'm still stressed out. <laughs> Spritz hair first thing in the morning as required to boost hair shine and combat rising stress levels. So what they're saying is it's too late for me. This is a fast acting daily mood and hair booster. Do we believe that? Is that like so hokey pokey or what? I mean, I think it's just like smells good. I mean, maybe it's like aromatherapy and it's supposed to like calm you down. Nope, I'm still stressed out. So moving on, we're gonna go in with a little bit of hydrating dry shampoo foam. I've tried a few of these. I have not, oh, see, look what happened. It like does not initially go on gray, but then it dries and it's gray. So what you probably need to do is just really brush your hair out after you use this dry shampoo. Okay, we're gonna try out this before we get to the makeup. There is a lot of makeup. Do not worry. It is not like, oh great, Tati, like weird hair video. No one wants to see this. Well, I wanna see it because my hair looks disgusting right now and it hasn't been washed. I'm trying to fool you that I have my life together. need the Dyson. I've also decided that we're gonna try this out. Look at this, it's like a giant tube of lipstick that holds lipsticks. These are plumping lipsticks, not plumping lip glosses. I thought that was kind of weird and different. And I'll try a couple of them and then we'll do a giveaway in this video. I'm doing giveaways like all of the time and always check the description box, easy to enter. So be sure to enter and check everything out below. Hey, well, I look amazing. <laughs> uh, okay, well, it definitely helped like the oiliness at the root of my hair. It smells really good. I feel like doing some kind of a styling tool to kind of dry it because it does dampen the hair a little bit is the better way to go instead of just crunching up the hair and kind of like crossing your fingers that it'll dry down and do all the work. I actually feel like the hair looks pretty refreshed and Moving on. One of the first things that I want to test out is actually from Glossier. And this is a bubble wrap lip plumping cream. This is cute, it like comes in a little pump. We know I love that. I cannot resist a pump. Keeps things clean and fresh. So I'm just gonna go ahead before we go on to the, 
Ooh, that really is creamy. Before we go on to the other areas of the face, why do they call it bubble wrap? After cleansing, whoops, use ring finger and gently press into the area around the eyes and onto lips. It has some of nature's strongest hydrators, hyaluronic acid. We talk about that a lot here on this channel. Oh, by the way, hi, subscribe, ring the bell. One of a kind plumping lip, ooh, it is plumping. I can't even talk. It doesn't feel sticky or pill under makeup. It tastes kind of weird. I don't think I like it. I'm gonna have to try this again before I have face makeup on. I, for whatever reason, thought that it was just for the lips, but it is something that you can put underneath the eye as well, so it's kind of a two-in-one. I will, you know, post a little IG story, snap story, testing this one out. I'm actually gonna make a note of that because I'm back in the mood to share with you guys all the exciting details of my pretty boring everyday life. Most of my days I am filming, I am testing, I am trying, I am researching, I am doing all of the business stuff, but I do wanna let you guys in a little bit more, so stay tuned. I am gonna be giving you guys a bigger look at everything that I do when I'm not just sitting right here. Let's go into, oh, I know what I wanna try. I picked this, <laughs> I picked this up at Sephora and just the size of it to me is weird. This is just a strange thing. I mean, what? <laughs> this is the Champagne Pop Glow Body Stick. Like may the force be with you with your, with your glow. What is this? I mean, I know it's for the body, so it's kind of like you can cover more space, I guess. Cover more real estate quicker. It smells really good. It kind of feels like deodorant. Like I'm rubbing deodorant all over my body that glitters. Okay, that actually is super pretty. It does smell really nice. It is very oily. I'll have to see by the end of this video if that like sticky oily feeling kind of stays and drives me insane or if it's okay. Because I do not like to feel body glow highlight on my skin. I like it to sink in and I like to feel like I'm not gonna be that girl that's like swiping an oily trail of glitter everywhere I go, you know what I'm saying? I have a couple of lip items to try out as I showed you guys the Buxom little kit. But while we get to doing a little brow and a little eye, what I wanna do is put on this Clarins Water Lip Stain. This just looked weird to me with the type of applicator that it has. It looks like an actual lip gloss, but it is a stain. And Clarins is, I don't wanna say that they're like a boring brand. <sighs> that sounds really mean. But they don't come out with like these shocking kind of collections, cutting edge. Like they, to me, feel like this very beautiful, French brand that does skincare well, that does color well, but everything is very sophisticated and kind of like it is what it is. When they came out with this, I thought it was really unique and different and a standout for a brand uh, like they are. Tastes really bad. Ugh, gross. <laughs> it tastes like one of those, ew, I really want it off my mouth because it's actually making me like, oh my God, it's the worst taste ever. Ugh. That is gross. It is like fruity spoilage. Is that right? With a hint of menthol. Oh my God, Clarins. I really like a lot of your stuff, but this is just tastes weird. No, 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 no. Mm. Maybe if you, maybe if it kind of wears down, cause it is transfer proof. Like they're like right on the label. It's like transfer proof and guess what? It is total, even, beautiful stain. If you're weird like me and the taste of lip products or the scent of them sometimes makes you lose your mind, then you might not like this. Moving right along. I wanna put on some face gloss. You guys, this is a glitter gloss from Make. Now you can use this, ooh, that's actually really pretty. You could use this on the eyes. I'm kind of having a moment with that. If you guys saw my drugstore try on, then you understand. I used to be such like a, nope, no, 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 don't like it. And now all of a sudden I'm like, 
I love it. But this one we're gonna put on the face and just kind of see what happens. I think the weird thing with this for me is that texture when it's sticky bugs me. Also, side note, and um, my friend Eileen will remember this if you're watching, she's very busy. But anyway, to make her laugh one time when we were teenagers, I was like doing my makeup and I was pretending that I was doing some kind of stupid trend. And I took like a big scoop of Vaseline and just like rubbed it all over my face and was just like shiny and was like making weird facial expressions. And like, we were laughing really hard. But anyway, I broke out so badly. Like I feel like it kicked off this like cycle of clogged pores and acne and I blamed it on the Vaseline. So ever since then, anytime something is sticky like this, putting it on my skin, I'm just like, ah! I'm like, no, 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 no. You know, but it's just this area, it's fine. I like that. You know what I don't like though? I don't think I like the Becca thing. I can feel it and it just makes me wanna go, all right, you guys, up next, I have this Anami Boosting Lip Plus Cheek Stick. This is a hydrating balm. It has collagen enhancing actives. There are three shades that I have. I'm gonna use the shade Tamar. And what's interesting about this one is absolutely nothing. Why did I think this was something special? Whatever, okay, I'm gonna use this for the first time. This is not anything like, wow, uh, uh. This is a brand that they put alpha hydroxies in their setting spray, ew, and in their powders. And I kind of like their products. I haven't explored enough. That's really pretty slick for a blush, but we're gonna kind of give it a go. That's actually pretty nice. Let's take care of the eyebrows. This might work, this might be a disaster. I have been so curious to try this out. Many of you have asked me to review this. This is the Brow Silk Kit from Iconic London. Now, I was gonna do a standalone video on this, but I chickened out. I was like, I don't know if people are that interested in this. I'm interested in it because it looks like a toothbrush. This is basically their version, I think, of soap brows, which was a trend for a while where it's just like a hard wax and you can groom the brow hairs kind of standing up. It says that you can use a wet or dry brush and you put it directly on the brows to style. How strange. It's like a hard, hard, hard wax. We need to look this up. Whoa. I mean, she's got some really good brows. I feel really insecure all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't have brows. I have like just a whisper of not much. Okay, so first I'm just gonna use it alone on one brow just to kind of see, I don't know, if I was going to the gym in the morning and I wanted just that little bit of edge to make me feel a little more together, then maybe this would be it. I can see how this would be really beneficial for someone who has more brow hairs than I have. And I actually think this will be nice and helpful once I have product in my brow. So let me go ahead and do that. I am gonna go back in with this. actually kind of love this. It makes the brows look so feathery, but it's like the hardest, like it's literally so hard. There's no mush to it. And you really have to, you know, pick it up with a brush like this that does look like maybe you're gonna brush your teeth, but you're not. You're just gonna use this in the brow and you kind of swipe it up and it just makes everything stand right straight up. I really like this. I'm super impressed by this. We have a winner. Okay, so now I want to head on to the eyes. I have these from Kosas. Their marketing says this is the 10 second eyeshadow. We're gonna time ourselves. This says your eyeshadow game is about to change. 10 second eyeshadow is a clean, water-based, fast drying and crease resistant formula for buildable high impact color that stays all day long. But they have a bunch of really pretty colors and the only thing I have to say is, ooh, the swatches look really nice, is when I opened this one up for the first time, I had it upside down and it spilled all over my jeans was not thrilled about that. This is a very 
loose formula. It is nothing that is thick like a concealer where you can tip it upside down and stuff will not come out. So you've been warned. All right, so let's just go on in. Clean Revolutionary Formula. Looks really nice. Modern wash of color. No tools required. Shake, swipe, and blend. We're gonna do it. <sighs> I'm ready. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go with the purple. I think this is gonna be so nice. Shake it really good and we're just gonna use our fingertips. Let's put a timer up in the corner and go. Um, no. Okay, once it dries down, it's actually super pretty. You definitely wanna take a little bit of time. I mean, it's their marketing, 10 seconds. You need a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with this bronzy shade as well. What do you guys think? Do you, I kind of like it more than I thought I would. And now I'm like, well, let's just put on one, one more. Let's put on the gold. Oh. Yeah, I kind of love these, but I will show you. I'm gonna kind of clear some space here. I wanna show you what I'm talking about right? Ooh, be careful. There is no safety thing to catch all that liquid. And that is the one thing that I think is a major drawback from this product. Okay. So before we move on, let's look at all the shades. We have Fahrenheit, Copper Halo, Element, 333, Globe, Nitrogen, Waterfall, and Supreme. I'm gonna pop on some mascara really quick. This is a new one from Tarte. This has a really big claim on the box as far as what it can do for your lashes. I was really curious when I saw this in stores. It's called the Big Ego Mascara. Really fun, vibrant packaging. I do love that. And I'm gonna see how this builds up and we'll be back to play with the Buxom Plumping Lipsticks. This is a pretty impressive mascara. I don't know that it did exactly as much as it shows on the box. They tend to exaggerate everything just a little bit, but it's not bad. The first swipe of it, it's like, uh, no lies. But if you keep building, it really will start to fan out. It reminds me a lot of the Tom Ford formula. That one, however, which it's more expensive, so keep that in mind, will build up a lot quicker, but it has that kind of tacky fiber type of a feeling where it really will build and your lashes will start to get very long, a little bit thick and I like it. I think this is really nice. Okay, so let's go back to the lips. How hard is this to get out of this thing? Okay. Hmm. That looks like right up my alley. That's pretty too. No, no, maybe. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, this is kind of creasing. This is really nice. Okay, this is the shade Goddess. I think I'm gonna like this. Oh, love at first sight. I love this shade. Oh, it was like such a hunt, but worth it. How pretty is this? Oh my God. It's so beautiful. Ooh. I am feeling the menthol-y mintiness and the buxomness of this lip plumping lipstick. Ooh, this is really beautiful. Wow. Okay, I wanna give some of these away. I'm not gonna keep all of them. There are some beautiful shades in this collection. So well done, Buxom. This feels great, looks great, has a nice slip, and 
I like it. This is from Smith & Colt. I am so curious about this. It says it's a mattifying weightless rice paper powder spray and detoxifying concentrated coconut water powder. I hate coconut. Coconut water powder and soft focus blur finish. What, that just kind of seemed a little wordy to me. Um, we're gonna try it out. My skin is probably gonna be really mad at me because my skin hates coconut so much, clogs it right up, but maybe with it being a powder, it's different. Probably not. Shake for five seconds. Spray six to eight inches from the face to set makeup, reapply as needed to refresh and mattify. This is weird. Do I feel different? I don't know. I mean, I will have to update you guys on this one because I have no idea. I feel like it made zero change on my face. I definitely felt it, but it didn't really um, change much. So maybe this is truly just like a setting spray that is gonna elongate things and really lock everything in tight. I will let you guys know about this. I will let you guys know about the Glossier under eye. Make sure that you follow me over on Snap IG. I will let you all in on everything as I continue testing it. And also you guys, oh, be still my heart. This foundation is still my everyday go-to. Now I do wanna continue forward with trying more foundations and giving you guys that hit list per skin type, what kind of foundation it is with the finish, with how long wear it is, is it natural, the whole thing, because there were so many that launched all at once. So I am still working on that and I have quite a list going and so much research. Expect that video once I try enough that I feel satisfied. But whenever I want my skin to look completely just like so good, locked in great I am reaching for this I use the tiniest amount even less than what I showed you guys in the video and it's just so gosh darn long wearing and makes your skin look so good uh, so I've turned on so many friends to this already totally not sponsored at all I like it's just not so don't go getting that idea but it is a long wear full coverage foundation if you were curious what is on my face I am gonna have everything listed below I know she has been slacking on that but uh, the description box is back it's tidied up Take a peek, everything is there. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me while just testing kind of fun, different products. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button, leave me comments, share the video, and just thanks for being here. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. And then please ring the bell so you're notified of my upcoming videos. I am here Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 10 a.m. PST. And I would hope that you would wanna come back and hang out with me and chit chat about makeup some more. All right, you guys go have a good one and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.